It is Friday, May 19th, 2023, and today I'm doing a match with Andre the Giant versus King Kong Bundy. I'm doing Andre the Giant because today is Andre's 77th birthday. May 19th, 1946, he was born. So I figured I'd do an Andre the Giant match today, and I'm doing a match that... Uh, a match I looked at, it was it's on YouTube, it's uh, from September 23rd, 1985, from Madison Square Garden. They called it the Colossal Jostle. It was Andre the Giant versus King Kong Bundy back then, so I figured I would have that match today. I didn't. I haven't not done uh, Andre the Giant versus King Kong Bundy yet, so I thought this would be a good one to have on Andre's birthday today. So so uh, here we go, Andre, Andre and Bundy, two... Two monsters of the ring battling it out. So if you want to go to YouTube and watch the uh, Andre Bundy Colossal Jostle match, it's on. Just just type um, go to YouTube, type Andre the Giant versus King Kong Bundy. You'll find it. In the, in uh, they'll say it's the Colossal Jostle, and it was on. Uh, it's I don't know if this is on the network or it's on YouTube, so you can always see it there. So yeah, Andre and in. Uh, Andre actually in the match had the shorter hair. I have him with the bigger hair here, but and he had red on, but, but and his his tights are blue here. But but uh, I just uh, I got these are I just figured I'd just do the do uh, go with the Andre I have here. So the, these are both uh, Andre's in the game, but this is a community creation I found where the uh, you the younger Andre with the bigger hair, and then the Bundy is not in the game. This is a community creation of King Kong Bundy. So. Uh, I like to actually find a thicker Bundy, but this one I would do for now. He's a little, seems a little thin, this Bundy. But anyway, so, 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 uh, we got, we got, uh, Andre and, uh, Bundy. They, they, they feuded with Big John Studd was in there and, and the Heenan family and stuff back at the time, over the, the time period of, when this match took place in 1985. It was a few months after WrestleMania 1, where Andre beat Big John Studd. And a, little, yeah, so a few months before WrestleMania 2, where uh, King Kong Bundy fought Hogan for the belt. And it's about a year and a half before Hogan and Andre fought at WrestleMania. So these Andre and Bundy were big stars at the time. They, they both back-to-back uh, -back WrestleManias, actually. Bundy fought Hogan for the title at WrestleMania 2, and Andre fought Hogan for the title at WrestleMania 3, and both of them lost. So, yeah, because Hogan, Hogan was the... Uh, Big, biggest star in the world at the time, and, and still is a big star to this day. I just, I would think mo most people know who Hulk Hogan is, even though he hasn't been active in uh, the in the ring in in a long time. He's just uh, a very well-known figure. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see who wins this match. But I would say, would say uh, he would favor Andre, but we'll see if Bundy can come up with the upset here. So right now it's pretty even. I thought this would be something interesting. If you if you didn't see this match in in uh, the Garden in '85, it, it was a uh, it was fun. It was a fun little feud with Andre and Bundy. If you weren't if you weren't born yet or you didn't see it or anything, it's uh, something to, something to go check out. If you if you remember it, it's uh, good memories for us. I remember uh, this this happening and, and it was a uh, Big deal at the time. That's so why they actually named it. Like I said earlier, they, they named it the Colossal Jostle. So when, when something gets a name, it's a big deal. Big wrestling match. But because the pay-per-views were just starting out then, so they didn't have... Because uh, this could have main evented a WrestleMania, this match, and called it the Colossal Jostle. But they, it was just at a house show on TV. Because right, yeah, we only had we only had, had WrestleMania 1 at that point, and, and so the pay-per-view was fairly new with WWF, so... They they still had a the house shows were still the bigger deals at the time, the, 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 all the big matches happened. They, they'd build to the big matches on on the weekly television show on Saturday morning, and then they have the big big match at, at a house show there that it would be televised like at like at Madison Square Garden, or the Philadelphia Spectrum or the Boston Garden at the time. For for those didn't know, I'm f informing you. But uh, that's it. they should have a mashed potato match or some big winner gets a big bowl of mashed potatoes. A little loaf of sourdough bread. I love sourdough bread. I like to say it. Sourdough. Sour. Sourdough. Sourdough bread. Sourdough. Have a sourdough bread match. 
I don't know why I like saying sourdough all of a sudden. But anyway. So we got Andre. Nobody has a finisher yet. But we're past five minutes into this match. We'll see uh, how long it goes. Andre's going to pile drive him here. Uh, yeah, that'll, that'll give you a headache. Sourdough. Say that. Do you like that word? Leave a comment if you like the word sourdough. Try saying sourdough. Sourdough bread. I like sourdough bread. Not the, not that much. I go around saying sourdough all the time. I just kind of got hooked on the word. Sometimes I get hooked on a word and start repeating it over and over. Sourdough. Sourdough. Mashed potato. Sourdough. Andre got stuck there a little bit. There was a patch today. There's 11 patches. I don't know, I don't know what it did. I just it, just when I turned it on today and the, they patched the game again. This is the second time this week. Patch 10 and 11 happened this week, so I don't know what patch 11 did. I know it does a list. I saw a list for patch 10, but patch 10 was partly to help to, to put the DLC, the downloadable content added on Wednesday into the game. And I, I'm I'm guessing patch 11 cleaned some stuff up. So hopefully the game will just keep playing better and better as they continue to patch it. The more patches, the better, I say. I like, still got to patch that Bundy whip and getting stuck on the ropes there back and forth. So SmackDown's tonight. We'll, we'll see what happens tonight on SmackDown. Friday night's always fun with SmackDown for the, those who like to watch SmackDown. So assume if you're in the, in the pro wrestling, you're watching this video and you probably watch SmackDown from time to time at least, if not every week. So Andre is... Uh, Looked like he was going to roll out of the ring there, but he can't. I got the no exit on. No, yeah, that's the avalanche. Let's see if uh, Bundy gets him here. So Bundy used to do. He puts him in the corner and runs into him like that and sm jumps into him. Andre, the, uh, Bundy, the avalanche. Bundy also was famous for getting a five count, so nobody can complain that they, they kicked out or something. Oh, he missed a splash. He would say he'd get the three count and say five, and the ref would count two more. So, the, And his reasoning was that the guy wouldn't couldn't say, hey, I kicked out in time. If he if he went it was down for five, he can't say he kicked out at three. So it would always be uh, it was actually a smart tactic to get an extra two. All right, here's Andre. Boom. Andre just used a finisher. That could end it. It should end it. Andre squished you. No, he kicked out. Bundy's tough. He kicked out Andre's finisher. Andre just landed on him. Oh, this is. Oh, you don't want that to happen. Wow, Andre just that might be it. No, he kicked out of that. Andre splashes you off the top rope. That should end the match. That that was that's crazy. The Bundy kicked out of that. But uh, this this game is uh, not a. Uh, they wanted to be realistic. That would end the match. There's Andre whipping himself in the rope. See, there's there's, there's something they got to patch. There's Andre's whipping himself in the rope continuously there. That's uh crazy. And anyway, so so uh, Andre's gonna get a press slam here. Drops him on the knee. Let's see if Andre can... Uh, get, he has another finisher. Let's see if he does it again and see if he can get the win. Nope. He's not going to do that. Sourdough. Sourdough! I don't know. i got to get some sourdough bread, I guess. I keep saying it. All right. Bundy's coming back here. Yeah, Bundy's a little more beat up than Andre, but it's pretty even. This is a good match. This game is, uh, if you, if you didn't get this game yet, you could probably get it cheaper now. It's been out a few months on uh, yeah, PlayStation or Xbox, whatever system you have, or if you have both. There's, there they are stuck again with the rope thing. That's it. I guess Patch 11 didn't fix that. Oh, well, it's like, I can't complain. This game's pretty good, but it's not too buggy. It's just, but there's still some problems with it like that like the whip and the rope thing there all right bundy's gonna oh well, bundy's that's andre's move you put him in the corner there and squish him put his rear into him like that that's that's andre's move hey, bundy you got bundy using andre's move bundy's bleeding he got blood on his face there oh he caught him with a power slam that was pretty cool all right andre and bundy here we go i did do i did earlier in my channel i did um Andre and Hogan against Bundy and Stud for tag team, which which was cool was a, at the time. Here we go again with the, the whipping the rope thing. So now I'm doing, but it's the first time I'm doing Andre and Bundy one-on-one. -on -one. I went through my matches to make sure that I didn't do this match before. 
If I did, it's a rematch, but there's the avalanche. That's Bundy's finisher right there. Let's usually see if he can get the win here. Ten minutes into the match. But this, yeah, this is a good few. I was just alive when the big, big, large guys fought each other back then in the in the 80s. Bundy and Andre, Andre and Stud, Hogan and Andre, Hogan and Bundy, Hogan and Stud. The big, the guy, the big guys that were like closer to six, six to seven feet tall and over 300 pounds, fight big monsters fighting each other. I was used to like those. That's like I like Omos today and. Guys like that. Big Show, Giant Gonzalez, all those guys. I always like to see those big monster guys fighting. Brock Lesnar. The big, big, big dudes. It was fun to watch them battle it out. So I decided I should do Brock. Uh, and, uh, I'm not sure if I've done Brock Lesnar and Andre the Giant. I mean, if I have to check. If I haven't, I'll have to do that match. See if Andre gets him here. No, he kicked out. Right, the match has passed 10 minutes. Bundy and uh, Bundy's tough. He's taking, some, taking a beat and he keeps kicking out. Let's see if he can get the win here. So yeah, Bundy was part of the yeah. So Bundy was part of the Heenan family with Bobby Heenan, the manager, um, managed Bundy and then uh, yeah, Captain the Captain. Actually, Andre he didn't have managers usually, but the Captain Lou Albano managed him a little bit. If you remember Captain Lou Albano, he he managed him and uh, Bun Bundy, but but Bundy was managed. By uh, Jimmy Hart, actually, and then he went to Bobby Heenan. He was, uh, I don't know if people remember that, that Jimmy Hart was actually Bundy's manager for a time. I think when he first came into WWF, Jimmy Hart was his manager, and then yeah, he went to, he went to Bobby Heenan, and he was with Heenan after that. And Bundy had a run in the '90s. Uh, he fought the Undertaker and stuff. I think he fought the Undertaker at WrestleMania 11 or something. I, forget, I can't remember. I have to look that up. I'm pretty sure he fought. Under Bundy fought Undertaker at WrestleMania, but but Bundy's uh, I guess at the peak of his career he, he main evented Hogan in the cage at WrestleMania too. That was that was a, the his his probably one of his biggest match probably maybe probably the biggest match of his career actually. If you go back and look at WrestleMania too, it was a fun match. Uh, Hogan and Bundy in the cage and Hogan was. The storyline was he had broken Hogan's ribs and he was all his ribs were all taped up and everything like that. And so he so his Hogan was going in hurt and he and he had to beat Bundy and he wasn't 100 percent and and he did it anyway. And so I guess they figured how they're going to top that and I said, well, for WrestleMania three, let's let's have him fight Andre the Giant. So two of my favorite WrestleMania main events are WrestleMania three Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant, WrestleMania six Hulk Hogan and Ultimate Warrior. That was very good too. I should do Hogan and Warrior. I don't think I did that yet. And, and I don't think I did Hogan and Andre yet either. So I got a lot of matches I want to do. But yeah, that's, that's a couple I want to do here. Here's Bundy. Right, there's Bundy with a finisher. There's a rope break there, though. Let's see if... Uh, now Bundy's going to go off this. Yeah, Bundy going, Bundy's splashing off the top rope. I don't ever see him. remember him doing that. But It's the craziness of the video game. You, got, you don't know what's going to happen. Did I mention sourdough? So, so, uh, sour, sourdough. There's a ring, write a song about sourdough and sing it. All right, here comes Bundy, pounding the floor. Let's see what he's going to do here. It's a pretty good King Kong Bundy. I just, he, he seems a little, little trim for what, what he was. Remember Bundy had the, the, WrestleMania one, he, he beat SD Jones in nine seconds. He had the he had the WrestleMania quickest match record. Here we go, got the rope whip in there. Hopefully, maybe they'll patch that because that yeah that keeps that's happened a lot in this match with them whipping in the rope and coming back. There's Andre Andre used to always do that the big boot. I think that's where Hogan got it from because Hogan used to do the big boot. All right, they're going 15 minutes. This is a long match, 15 minutes. It's it's longer than I didn't expect it to go this long. It's pretty good. It's, as long as it doesn't go too long, it's it's good. It's like if it finishes, it's, uh, stays under 20 minutes, that's good. If it gets past 20, it's getting kind of long. Like I, I've said before, unless you're in the mood for a really long one-on-one -on -one match, under under 20 minutes is good. No more than 20 on a one-on-one -on -one match. For me, for me, personal tastes. All right, Bundy and Andre are having a heck of a match here, though. This is longer. This might be longer than than the. Uh, Colossal, actual Colossal Jostle was. 
It's it's crazy. Some sometimes I'll have a one on one match that lasts three minutes, and then other times it's like this one's about to hit fifteen minutes. You never know how long your matches are going to be with this. This cool part of this game. You have the same settings, and it, it'll have five minutes, and then you do you rematch it right away. You've got, and it'll be fifteen minutes. Let's see if uh, Andre gets beat by Bundy. That'd be an upset. No, Andre kicked out. Figure Andre will win this match. He should. He should beat Bundy. He's a lot bigger than Bundy. A lot more stronger than Bundy. We'll see. He never. Bundy never beat him in the ring. Let's see here. Working the arm over there. No, the arm. The arms never get damaged. And legs. They need to. That's something they could fix. Bundy with a shoulder tackle on Andre off the top rope. It's, <laughs> it's things. Things I never saw Bundy do in the ring. Let's see what he's doing. Well, he's wasting time. He should be beating on Andre. You got Andre down. You got to work him over, beat him, wear him down. Win that match. That's it. Win the match. Make that dough. The winner. This the uh, Grillamon seems to always talk about the winner got paid more. He goes. He goes home with the winner share of the purse. He's to say. Makes makes more dough. Makes more sa sour dough. Right. Oh, DDT by Bundy and Andre. See, I think he was going to roll out there as I turned off the exiting. All right, so Andre is a finisher. We'll see if he can utilize it. Try to get a win here. This is this is incredible. This match is lasting long, long like my tag team matches. I I had the Steiner brothers in demolition the other day, and it, it ran 25 minutes or so. And then uh, this match is this is a one-on-one -on -one match going that long. We go going and getting, and it's not far off from it. Bear hug. He's not going to submit. I don't have submits on. One, two, three. Was it a one, two, three kid sign? They got a one, two, three. Probably for the count, though. One, two, three. This is going to end on a pin only. It's, it's, uh, eventually this will end. This is crazy how long this match is going. But, you know, yes, this is cool. It's one thing, something I like about this game. You, you never know what you're going to get. You do a match. He's probably going to kick out. That wasn't a finisher. Yeah, he kicked out. You you have a match and you don't know uh, how long it's gonna go. Cause uh, if you look at my channel, some matches I'm having them and they're yeah, they're over five minutes and others I can't believe it ended so quick and then other ones don't end like this one. But I have I don't know what do you, what do you prefer longer matches on my channel or shorter? Uh, let me know in the comments. Oh Bundy beats Andre that's a big upset almost almost twenty minutes it took. All right everybody have a nice weekend it's uh it's Friday so. Uh, have a nice weekend. I'll be back with uh, my 85th match on Monday. Bye-bye.